Hey guys, it's Danny with Partner Engineering, and we've got a new project for you today called the Kong Connect add-ons for Amazon EKS Blueprints for Terraform Framework. That is a mouthful. So let's cover what this framework is for and what the add-ons are gonna offer. So for those of you that are un new to EKS or familiar with, already familiar with EKS, they're spinning up an EKS cluster these days is super fast, right? You can have one up and running in like 10 minutes, but it's really the day two operations, um, orchestrating them, understanding AWS best practices and getting to an EKS production ready cluster that is bogging down our platform engineers. Cause there's just a lot, there's a lot to learn when you're in any cloud ecosystem. Right. Uh, how do I deploy the CNI? How do I understand URSA in order to integrate with my AWS infrastructure? What is the best use of my AWS infrastructure and optimizing um, use of it as well? And so the objective of this framework is to help you orchestrate those patterns so that you're adhering to some best practices. So you're adhering to best practices within the ecosystem using infrastructure as code to do so. Terraform. So let's go ahead and talk about what the Kong Connect add-on modules are gonna do for you. We've got two of them and what they're gonna de do is deploy either Kong Gateway or Kong Ingress Controller respectively so that they uh, integrate with Connect uh, while adhering to or drive you towards some AWS best practices. What, what best practices would we be concerned about with? And that's namely managing the certificates for this MTL, MTLS connection between our data planes and either deployment strategy, gateway or kick to the connect control plane. And so to do that under the hood, the add-on is still at the end going to execute the Kong Helm chart. It's gonna do that. But what it's gonna be doing is also get you set up with this AWS infrastructure in order to best manage our AWR Kubernetes secrets within the AWS ecosystem, the best practice is really to leverage the AWS Secrets Manager and grab those secrets from our ecosystem. To do that, we're going to use the external secrets operator. So what the hell, what the add-on is going to do is the following. We are going to, it's going to create the URSA policy so that and then it's going to deploy the external secrets operator this operator is actually going to be deployed it's a part of it's an eks na native add-on so it's going to be deployed using um, the same add-on framework once that operator is in place then we need to deploy some cres in order to go uh, to integrate with secrets manager and pull down the secret so it's going to it's going to create the secret store crd to in order to have access to the AWS secret manager. And then it's going to, with the external secret CRD, go ahead and grab the correct secrets and deposit that as a Kubernetes secret in the Kong namespace. Once all the secrets have been set up, then we're ready to execute the Helm chart. And so it will deploy the Helm chart. And when we, and in that deployment model, we've abstracted away some of the standard inputs to our Helm chart so that you can just focus on the what's what the Helm chart truly requires, you know, as you change dif to different EKS clusters. Now, if you need to um, extend the values that were the Helm values, like if you need to include uh, inject auto scaling or extra secrets or things of that nature, if you need to add more parameters uh, values to the uh, Helm values that are being deployed, that is still feasible. So you're not you're not uh, forced into um, the values, the default values that we've defined, right? So what what you're getting fundamentally out of the box is a way to deploy the gateway using Terraform while adhering to infrastructure as code best practices and being guided towards AWS best practices at the same time. So that um, fundamentally, I think, is pretty nice. And I've been using the framework since you know since I've been. Uh, since developing it and having to do a bunch of demos, I've been using the framework pretty frequently now, and I can have a, I can have my data plane all ready to go with a new EKS cluster in like about 15 minutes. So it's, I think it's, um, it's been a really interesting project to, to work with. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and scoot over to the demo. What we're gonna do is step through how to uh, deploying the Kong Ingress controller in 
uh, add-on within this framework. So for the add-ons and for the Terraform framework, we have a couple of prerequisites we need to handle first. So let's go ahead and talk about that. Um, starting with Connect, you need to have a runtime group, i.e. a control plane, that aligns with the type of gateway that you're going to deploy. So if you're going to deploy Kong Gateway, then you need to have a, a Kong Gateway runtime group. And respectively, for a Kong Ingress controller, you need to have a different runtime group. Then we need to have certificates. So certificates are needed both within the runtime manager itself for that control plane, and we need to push them into AWS Secrets Manager, dealing with certs prerequisite too. Last is the additional infrastructure, the VPC and the EKS cluster. Those two prerequisites are not handled by the add-ons framework. Add-ons is technically hyper-focused on day two operations. For that day one operation, however, the AWS team does have a solution. They've got uh, some really great, really popular Terraform modules as well to help so that we can run the day one operation of spinning up that VPC in the EKS cluster and then directly immediately driving into the add-ons framework for day two operations all within one Terraform script. So let's go ahead and take a look at where all this stuff is. If you're ever looking out in the world for the Kong modules, if you go to the Kong namespace and Terraform, we've got a link to both of our modules. The EKS Blueprint Connect runtime instance is if for those who want Kong Gateway, and again, didn't agree with Connect. And then those looking for the Kick iteration, please look to the Connect Kick module. Now, how do I run all this stuff? Well, we've got, as usual, we've got an you know, examples repository for you. Um, there's numerous types of examples in here. So uh, pick your poison, pick your flavor. Are you interested in Graviton? Go ahead and take a look at the Graviton uh, flavor. Or do you want to focus on kick? We've got it. We're going to run through the kick flavor together, example together. Um, we're going to post a link to this again, also in the description as well. So go ahead and clone this repo if you haven't already, if you want to follow along. If not, we're going to go ahead and move on to setting up Connect. So if you're in Connect, uh, go ahead and I'm going to refresh, navigate to Runtime Manager, and we need to create a new runtime group. Uh, we see we talked about there's different types of runtime groups here. We need the Kong Ingress controller. And I'm going to name this Kick Demo. In this GUI, it's going to it's going to lead you to generate the script. In this moment, we don't need to. So Rather than saying connected, we're going to go ahead and click cancel. Oop, that didn't work. Let's do that again. I think I need to, we need to, what we need to do is we actually need to click generate script. And then you can see in the bottom, successfully created runtime group. Now click cancel. And there's our runtime group. Okay, now certificates. Um, we're going to go to the example to do this. And what we've done is, uh, with our AWS colleague Anuj, we've actually created a just a CLI tool to help generate self-signed certificates and push push them to both respective locations to your Connect Runtime group and to AWS Secrets Manager. So, if you are following along, go ahead and curl down the CLI tool, and we're gonna na we're going to execute it from VS Code. Let me close this. I'm using where am I using? I'm using iTerm at the moment. So there's my generator tool. I've already got it in history. Kick demo. Now, if you're running in the EU region, be cognizant you need to change this API endpoint. And also you shouldn't have to change API version. Stick with V2 for now, if you're following this um, real time, close to its release date. You need to have a personal access token and you need to have the runtime group name, not the, so that was kick demo in my case. So we'll go ahead and run this. Kick demo was created. That's not good. What did I do? I did something wrong. Kick demo two. Okay. Let me fix that. It's interesting. I did create kick demo, but of the wrong type. So I'm going to delete this guy because it's wrong. And let's stick with kick demo too. So I'm going to go back to iTerm, fix this to match with boop kick demo two already exists. Okay. Um, 
Pulling out the information we need, the runtime group ID. It didn't generate this group ID. This is the ID. It was generated when we created the uh, runtime group. So if you're ever looking for it quickly, it's there, but there's also, we can find more information. Um, there's a way to abstract more information about our runtime group, like the configuration itself. And certificates, let's just double check that the certs are there. So if you're in the your runtime instance, I want you to select on the right, the actions gear, go to ingress controller certs, and you can see that here is the self-signed cert uh, I just pushed up. Likewise, we should see the same thing in Secrets Manager. So I'm gonna navigate to Secrets Manager, refresh. We do have extra certs because I accidentally created one, but you can see this two hashes right here, 32CA75 key, 32CA75 cert. This is the runtime group ID, 3872CA75. So I've got my self-signed certs that the data planes need and the control plane needs in both connects. Let's do this from the diagram and both connect and also in AWS Secrets Manager. With that in place, we can now shift over to Terraform to take care of day one and day two operations. So this is also described in the example. So I'm just gonna shift over to VS Code to do it. Um, I'm gonna open up the main script for now and talk about the four main activities that are gonna happen. Or yeah, the three main activities, sorry. The first is VPC. We need to create that uh, the VPC. Um, so that's what you can see that this is also a Terra, an AWS Terraform module, extremely popular, that is recommended to use. Once the VPC is in place, we take that and we use that as inputs for our, for the AWS uh, EKS module that helps spin up a EKS cluster. Also extremely popular and highly recommended, recommended to use. So those are the main two day one operations that those are executed. Now we're ready to run uh, the Kong Connect add-on day two operation. So if we're looking at line 68, we can see we're, we're using the Kong's EKS Blueprint Connect Kicked module. And there's a number of inputs here that some are, we kind of, uh, we kind of use, configure them for you. And so let's talk about, let's shift over to the variable inputs for this Terraform script to kind of understand a little bit more. So what we need to know what the input for this Terraform script is first, the connect region. Are you in US or are you in EU? We need to know that runtime group ID. We need your PAT token because we're going to be pulling some, we're going to be fetching some information from the uh, runtime group. And we need to know the names of those secrets that we pushed into AWS Secrets Manager. So I've got a TVARS file ready to go. You can see it's got connect region, my run, that runtime group ID. I actually need to fix this. So I'm going to do that by grabbing the name here. Back over to VS Code. Swap this out. Cert. Key. This is my runtime group ID. So I'm going to copy and place this. And now we are ready to go. Okay. So, you know, I've already, I've been using this, the uh, Terraform for a number of iterations at this point. So I've already done Terraform in it. We'll do it again. Just make sure, ready to go. Now, if, you know, in a realistic setting, you do Terraform plan, save that, save those plans, make sure it looks right before you go into implementation, but I'm gonna go ahead and immediately uh, apply. And hopefully we should have a cluster with kick installed in a production ready fashion in about maybe 15 minutes, right? Start to finish, so that's pretty cool. This is gonna take a while, so I'm gonna I'm gonna we're gonna pause here and I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so the Terraform script is now done, so let's go ahead and take a look at what happened. We can see we've got 72 resources created, that's correct. And also this output's really convenient. It lets us gives us the output, the command for getting our keep config. So I'm gonna copy that. 
and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at all of the resources that were created I'm gonna like investigate the setup execute that I'm gonna go into k9s and here we go let's start with external secrets oh so I'm gonna go to namespace namespace external secrets and what we can see is that the operator is installed and all of the components for it and we have some CRDs that we needed installed. The first one was Secret Store. We find Secret Store. Nope. Where is it? You know what? Let's go to the Kong namespace find Secret Store. Secret Store. Yeah, there it is. Great. So there's the Secret Store. Let's go to the meat of it. The Secret Store is going, if we look at the spec right here, is going, it's using external secrets URSA. So we have an, the, uh, External Secrets Operator Surface Account has an URSA, an IAM policy for Surface Account in order, to, in order to access the Secrets Manager residing in US West 2. So that's the first CRID. And then from that, we then created an ex once that was set up, we created an external secret CRD. This is the CRD that identifies what secrets in Secrets Manager to pull down. So if we go to the meat of it again, take a look at the spec. It knows to pull down uh, this cert should be to, uh, assigned to this secret ID key and this secret should be assigned to this TLS secret key. It's kind of confusing. Could have stated that better. And these are all going to go into the connect client TLS secret. Now when we go to so this is the external secret. It's going to create a connect TLS Kubernetes secret in the Kong namespace. So trace that, let's go to secrets in this namespace. And there we see, we've got a Kubernetes secret with two fields, TLS cert and TLS key. So that is the whole external secrets integration that you now get. What else? Let's go ahead and check out um, the pods in Kong. And you can see we've got two pods, the Kong controller. This is the Kong ingress controller pod and then the gateway for the Kong gateway pod. So for clarification, the ingress controller will take CRDs and translate them into the uh, abstractions that the Kong gateway interprets. And so that's why we've got both running side by side. The other thing is this is supposed to be an integration with connect, right? So what do we see in connect now? Let's go ahead and navigate up to Chrome. So we go back to our runtime manager. Bummer, I got locked out. If we go to kick demo two and open it up, now you can see that we've got a fully operational um, runtime instance, kick runtime instance running. It'll tell you the pod name, version, when it was last seen and that the Kong gateway pod is also connected, which pods are connected to so the Kong gateway. So with that, let's end with Excaladra. Okay, so what we've done is we've, in summary, Kong Connect add-ons for Amazon EKS blueprints for Terraform. We have gotten you to, we've created an add-on to get you to a production ready Kong gateway or Kong runtime instance um following aws best practices and allow you to adopt infrastructure's code best practices using terraform those aws best practices that we were most concerned with was basically f providing you with a with support around the data plane certificates needed for this mutual tls connection between the data plane and connect that's it we hope you guys take a look at the project and give it a go. If there's any any other interesting day two operations that you're looking for, that would be really convenient to have. Feel free to open up an issue in the Git repository and reach out to us anytime. We we are looking forward to hearing feedback from the community to see what you guys think. And with that, that's it. Um, for to spin down, it's Terraform, right? So go, let's go ahead and kick off. I'm gonna go ahead and kick off Terraform Destroy. That's how easy it is, and um, I will see y'all later. Mm -hmm.